Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, this is a new week and I bless God for this week. And guess what? This is the last week for the month of January. Praise God. And listen, God is rounding off everything you need to set you on the go for 2020. Praise God. Now, I want to especially thank every one of you who, who sent a message called you know, to celebrate my birthday on the 25th, that was on Saturday. I appreciate God for every one of you. Thank you. And I pray that the Spirit of God will raise men to celebrate you also. Praise God. And we had a wonderful meeting on Saturday. The Spirit of God was there and thank God for everything. Praise God. Now, we, we want to conclude on what we've been talking about, God giving you all things that pertain to life and godliness. And our text is from 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, According as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. It says, Through the knowledge of of him that have called us to glory and virtue and and last week i was explaining to you that this is how you assess all the things that god have given to you how as you grow in knowledge you see as you the more you know him the more you're empowered the more you know him the more you're empowered and and when you're empowered you have access to a lot of things and that's how it works praise god uh, we're taking this this a step further this week to find out what are those things that can hinder you from assessing all the things that God has given to you. Now, number one, and I need you to follow me carefully, one major thing that can stop you from assessing all things. It's one thing for God to have given you all things. It's another thing for you to walk in it. Now, the walking in it is your own part to do. See, God has done his part right from the foundation of the world. He has done his part. He's not doing anything again today. There is no cry you will cry to the Lord today. You know, like I told them on Saturday, God does not react. He's on the go. Praise God. Now, if you join him to be on the go, then you will begin to see everything has been given to you. Like First John said, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship. Note it, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, didn't just say if we walk in the light. You can decide, this is my light. <laughs> no, no, sir. If you walk in God's light, not us, if you walk in the same frequency with God. Now, it is not God that will come walk in your frequency. No, 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 that's not how it works. It is you that would climb up to walk in God's frequency. That's how it works. Because God, he made all things. He made you. He knows the way. He, he, think about it. So he's the one on the go. Now you are the one that may have stopped somewhere. So you're the one that needs to rise up and catch up with him. Not him coming down or slowing down to walk with you. You need to understand this. Praise God. So now I said, one of the main things that can cause you not to receive or see all the things that God has given to you is strife. Now, strife, listen, strife is a killer. And this year, you must make up your mind you have no business with strife. Now, it doesn't mean people will not raise up a, a situation or situations will not come where you will be tempted to strive. You, you see, listen, you can't control what people do around you. You can't control what people even do to you. But one thing that you have a full control of, if you are matured and you should grow in maturity, is your response to whatever people have done to you or whatever people are doing to you. Your response is in your power. See? So, don't just sit down there and say, eh, it's because somebody did this, that's why I did this. No. When you are responding, one thing you must clear from your heart is strife. I'm going to be talking to you about strife this week, maybe for um, tomorrow. I'll get deep into strife and show you scriptures and examples 
or how people dealt with strife in, in, in scriptures. But I want you to know this today. Strife, S-T-R-I-F-E, is a killer. It kills your destiny. It ki- and, and, and let me tell you this. Satan cannot stop you. But he knows very well that if he can slow you down or make you to stop yourself, and he will achieve what he wants. See, Satan cannot block your destiny. I feel so every demon that is blocked, there's no demon blocking your destiny. But I'll tell you what demons do. I'll tell you what Satan does. He entices you. He, he deceives you so that you by your own hand will block your destiny. He gets you to walk in the wrong attitude, so you block your destiny. See, for example, he causes things to happen, and then you begin to scream and shout and get angry, you know, know, anyhow. You're just furious for no reason. And that's the day that someone who's coming to bless you, someone who's bringing some good thing to you, sees you and says, Dear God, uh, I don't think I'm ready to walk with this guy. (laughs) It's God. You see, so... Get yourself, tell yourself right now, I will not walk in strife. In 2020 and beyond, I will never walk in strife. Praise God. I've got to stop here for today. But you know what? Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to begin to talk about strife in details. You need to understand what I'm talking about. Praise God. Have the best day ever. Bye-bye.